Hello, it's Robert Miner with Dynamic Traders Group with their DT Trade Strategies for the week of November 15th. This is where we do a reasonably short video for our uh, Traders News memberships and our YouTube followers and Twitter followers. To give you an idea of what we do every week for our DT Report subscribers, and this is where I take a look at one or two markets with a possible trade setup coming up in the week ahead. And I educate you on why we're looking at it as a potential trade setup. So before we get started, if you like these videos, click on the like button, um, share them with your friend and subscribe so you'll get uh, an update every time we have a new video uh, that we put up. And please be sure and join Traders News at dynamictraders.com, hit the Traders News. Uh, we have other updates that we include for people to join our Traders News. It's absolutely free, no credit card, nothing. Uh, you just need to put your name in and your email address and we'll let you know when we put some new updates there that we don't have on Twitter and uh, uh, YouTube. So that said, let's get started. Do a really quick review of the dollar from where we uh, focused on last week in depth. I've said this before and I say it almost every week is that if you want to learn to trade, forget about forecasting. Forecasting has nothing to do with trading. Trading is about identifying conditions with a high probability outcome so you can develop a specific trade strategy with acceptable capital exposure. So in last week's video, we went into a lot of details on monthly, weekly, daily charts of the dollar, that the dollar was at or near a position to complete at least a multi-week high, maybe even a multi-month high. And we, when we identify a position like that, then we have to identify the specific trade strategy. So I'm going to put my cursor here um, right about where we were last week as of last Friday. Uh, that's right on that bar five days ago. And we had in that video is that it's in a position to potentially complete uh, a multi-week high and the confirmation and, and well, first the reversal signal would be a close below 93.853. That was the November 3rd little swing low close in that we had to close below that to indicate that indeed that weekly high was complete. Never made that, never triggered the entry signal, never triggered the trade. So you got to really, really uh, be careful about how you, you organize your trade strategies and that you can identify a probable reversal position, but then the market's got to make the reversal. It's got to do something to tell you that indeed that reversal is complete and the trend is reversing into another direction. It didn't with the dollar. Now, I'm not going to update the dollar uh, t today, but I will say we're within two weeks of the next multi-week setup to make the next multi-week high within two weeks, maximum two weeks. So just keep in mind that it doesn't void the longer term position of the market. It does void the immediate position and the immediate reversal, but we're pretty close to that. Maybe we'll update that in a week or two. Let's take a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I know even if you don't trade those, um, Stick with me here because technically you're going to have an education here in the next five minutes or so. And before we look at those markets, I just another reminder, join the DT Traders News at dynamictraders.com. Just go to dynamictraders.com, choose the Traders News tab. You can sign up. It's free. Um, we have updates on Traders News we don't have on Twitter or on YouTube. So it's absolutely free. Why not check it out, sign up, maybe get some more alerts that'll be helpful to you and learn a little bit more about DT and the type of analysis and trade strategies that we teach all of our subscribers. Okay, let's take a look at what, what may be the most beautiful technical situation I've seen in a long time. So this is Ethereum weekly data. And as of the end of this past week, the weekly momentums were in the second week of being dual look back overbought. Now look where the last time was when they were dual look back overbought. That's what this the red represents, uh, is that they're dual look back overbought. The last time they reached that position, 
They were real close to making a weekly high followed by a three-week decline. Now, three-week de- decline doesn't sound like a lot, but when in these cryptos, Ethereum and Bitcoin, that can be a 20 or 30% decline in about three weeks. In this case, it was 34% decline in just three weeks. Came right down to 61.8% retracement and then took off. Look where we're at now. We're again at that momentum cycle to which we should be within probably a week of completing a weekly high. However, for those of you who are interested in Elliott Wave, uh, more than likely, this is a one, two, three, four. That's a wave five. If that's the case, uh, the reversal should result in a corrective decline greater in time and price than either the wave two or the wave four. And that's significant. So in other words, probably more than three weeks and more than 34%. Um, So it's a pretty significant uh, point that we're at. Take a look at the price uh, position. As of last week, the last week's high was just a few dollars short of the 162% external retracement of the wave four. That's typically the maximum target for a wave five. So if waves one through four are correct as shown, uh, last week reached about the maximum probable to complete a wave five. So that's significant, not only a weekly high, but a probable end of wave five high. Take a look at the daily data. Here's where it really gets interesting. So this is just the wave four up from that September low. Again, if you're into Elliott wave, this is like textbook stuff, a one, two, one, two, three, four, five for a three, ABC flat for a four. Now here's where it all comes together, potentially at least, uh, where wave five of five is subdividing into five ways. One, two, three, four, five. Here's what's significant about this. I don't have the ranges of the one and three shown here, but what I can tell you is if this is a one, two, and a three, and a four, the range of the wave three is slightly less than the range of the wave one. Those of you who are familiar with Elliott wave know that the wave three can't be the shortest, or at least they shouldn't be, the shortest in range of one, three, or five. That means, since the wave three is shorter than the wave one, wave five should be shorter than the range of wave three. So what we do is we just measure the range of wave three, project it from the wave four, and that becomes the maximum for a wave five. A wave five, if if these are one, two, three, four, should not exceed the 100% alternate price projection of the wave three. That price projection is just about $10 above the high from last week that was made on Wednesday on this outside two close bear reversal day. Very significant. Um, however, Ethereum has to close below 4601 to confirm that a weekly high is complete. And yet, once again, remember, this is uh, a higher, probably a higher time frame high than just a simple weekly high followed by two or three weeks sideways to down. It has a potential for being a multi-month high. But we have to have that close below 4601. Just like last week in the dollar, we identified that it was near a position to complete a, at least a weekly, if not a multi-month high, but it needed to close below that significant closing level to signal that the high is complete. That's the same with Ethereum. So it needs to close below 4601, and then really, ideally, the nail in the coffin would be a close below this little wave four swing low at 4479.20. So this is, this is a, a beautiful setup that even if Ethereum should continue to advance to a new high, given the weekly position and the weekly price position, the weekly momentum position, the upside should be very limited before Ethereum completes that weekly, if not multi-month high. So that's where we're at with Ethereum. Bitcoin's essentially the same position. This is Bitcoin daily. It's got more of a sloppy advance off of this, what I got labeled as the wave four of uh, five low. But if it closes below 63,266, more than likely it's completed its five wave 
advance in a weekly high. This is uh, Bitcoin weekly data. It's fallen just a little bit short of the minimum upside uh, probable to complete the weekly in wave five high. Who knows, maybe it'll reach that 69.540 next week, but uh, certainly a lower weekly close next week indicates that weekly high is complete. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you've listened to this, even if you're not a Bitcoin or an Ethereum trader, is this is such a great technical position, such a great pattern position. And of course, it applies to every market and every time frame. They all don't fit together this beautifully, at least what appears to be so beautifully from an Elliott Wave price, time, and pattern position and dual time frame momentum position. But when we recognize they're in that position, it's time to wake up and be prepared. That's it for today. Robert Miner over and out. Check us out.